Balls, dude! Hello, friends! Dude, we were looking for a friend on the island and we found it in the form of balls. Come here, all the balls. Oh, Five balls. What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Back, playing stranded deep. Now with more ability to finish the game. Ladies and gentlemen, we have played Stranded Deep. We have been playing Stranded Deep multiple playthroughs for years. But just recently, they've changed some stuff and things. And in the experimental version now, you are able to go into your experimental version. Uh, ch or ch change your version to experimental. And then you are able to uh, go to the workshop area and download a special map. That is three question marks map. Uh, and then, oh, let's go ahead and put that guy down. Three question marks map uh, and download it. And that provides you with a way to beat the game, to finish the game, which is amazing. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, press tab to open. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Oh, yeah. We got some emergency rations inside of there. You and you. Let's grab our bandages. So we've done a few different playthroughs. And I think we did a little bit of a playthrough a couple of... Yeah, it's been a while now. It's been a while now. Uh, but anyway, now that you can absolutely finish the game, I thought this was the perfect time to come back to Stranded Deep. I know you guys love it. So make sure if you want to see more, smash the thumbs up button. Show your support. Dude, didn't we just get one of these? Wait, what? Are plants regrowing instantaneously? That would be amazing. So anyway, hit the thumbs up button. Show your support if you want to see more of this. The other thing that I thought would be really interesting is that uh, lately, when we did Among Trees, and then we did uh, the playthrough of Green Hell, we've kind of been playing the last couple of playthroughs, uh, these linear survival games, and I really like it. I really like that these games have an end. Um, I, you know, one of the, the hallmarks, kind of, the trademark uh, of survival games is that they don't end, right? That's kind of the deal. They never end. Uh, but with these linear games that we've been playing, these survival games that have an ending, I just am really into it. So I thought this would be a great time to do another playthrough of it. So here's the island that we're on. Um, I've gone ahead and added the special island in to my map area here. And we're going to go ahead and start. Let's take a look and see. Whoa, dude, I feel like that got a little bit higher. Oh, SPS are going nuts. We don't want to do that. So we have a lot of stuff and things to do. Let me see. Hunting, cooking, harvesting, physical, and craftsmanship are no good. We are healthy, but our SPFs are a little bit low, so we're going to have to be careful of that stuff. So we're going to start off by gathering up some stuff and things. Obviously, we want to try to, as much as we can, stay out of the sun. Uh, and then we're going to need to get a couple of stones here. I think we're going to go ahead and craft up right there our stone tool to start with. That's going to allow us to do stuff like hit a coconut uh, several times. Yeah! And then we got that guy, so we can go ahead and drink it for a little bit of water. All right, stuff and things are looking good so far. All right, let me take a look here and see. We got to go, what, C for crafting, and we'll probably have to get two sticks to make some kindling to start with. Let's go ahead and pop over here and craft that up. So now we have our kindling for when we make a fire. Dude, we are, uh, wow, slip gear. It's like, it's like you're good at this. It's like you know what you got going on there. So four sticks to get a fire going, and then we should probably grab a couple more rocks and go ahead and make an ax as well. Let's talk about some hot tools. Uh, well, we can make the kniffy. There's the ax right there. We actually need two. What? two of those guys uh, and a rope and some other stuff and things. So now that we have our knife, where are you, the knife? Go ahead and get some saplings going. So yeah, like I was saying, thanks for coming to hang out with me. I want to give you guys a special shout out just because your support lately has been amazing. I really, really, truly appreciate what you do. And you know what? A lot of people say that on the YouTubes, you know, and sometimes it feels like they're kissing butt, you know what I mean? But I'm not kissing butt. I really do appreciate you guys. And I really do appreciate all of your support. Um, on Patreon, we had a couple new people sign up over there. Uh, Patreon is a huge help right now, especially with YouTube being kind of like, uh, you know, YouTube. So if you want to help to support the channel, please consider becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash slipgator. And I'm getting palm saplings. So we want these guys to go ahead and make up some ropes. And it looks like we have a couple shipwrecks in the area. Sticks and rocks right now are going to be important for us. Oh, also, if you're wondering, um, I have in the past. Oh, we just need to hold E to get that guy. Uh, played Stranded Deep with mods, and we have played Stranded Deep with custom maps. Um, right now, we are playing this game completely vanilla, uh, with no custom maps and no custom mods, and that means my SPF is getting tanked right now because I'm out in the sun. So, uh, it's not necessarily my favorite way to play the game, but I also, uh, having played Among Trees and Green Hell, uh, completely vanilla, am finding that 
uh, I'm having a little bit of a resurgence uh, and a little bit of a, a, a resurgence of interest uh, in survival games that are a little bit more difficult. Green Hell was definitely more difficult. There was a massive hump in that game, and any time you were playing it, if you got even just the littlest bit of a scratch, it was pretty much over for you. So it was pretty tough uh, playthrough, but it was fun in that way. And so uh, I'm not saying that I'm coming out as being anti-mod. That's not the thing. You'll, you'll see mods on the channel for sure in the future. Harvesting just got to level up. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, for right through for this playthrough for right now, we're not going to be using mods. We're just going to do a vanilla and you're probably going to hear me scream at the game. Uh, when I'm sunburned. All right. So we got some stuff and things. Now we got our rocks, dude, a ton of rocks. We got some more aloe, which we can use. I do believe to go ahead and make some, uh, sunscreen for ourselves. Uh, let's put these guys over here like this. All of those guys right there, and then we still have our knife. So how's our SPF doing? We've got to pop over here and just take a little bit of a break. Let's get into the shade. Oh, we're st it's still going down. Let's try to find an even better shaded spot. There we go. It's going up a little bit. So what we got to do now, what I want to do is just pop over here so I can make some plans as to what we're going to do. So the first order of business, I think we're going to want this guy. And that's four prom fronds, one lashing, uh, and three sticks. We're going to need a fire, too, to start cooking some food and a little bit of probably a fire pit some stuff and things like that going on so uh palm fronds that means we're gonna have to cut down a palm tree i don't want to be too far out into the sun while i'm doing this though because dude i'm in the shade see i told you i was gonna yell at the game i swear this game is so weird with the sun stuff <laughs> so i'm standing in the shadow of this palm tree <laughs> right here and i'm gaining spf when i was back inside of there if i was in the shade i wasn't gaining any spf so this is a good trick that we learned. Stand in the shadow of a palm tree. We're getting, we're, it's actually going up quite a bit right now because we're standing here and it looks like that we're completely shaded from the sun. So we're getting some sort of like special bonus from it. It's really going up quite quickly. In fact, I think it actually does tick in the little spaces in between each uh, block. So yeah, we're gonna cut this guy down and then it's gonna go away. So yeah, we're gonna follow the uh, tutorial there on the side for the refined knife, but I really wanna get a, 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 a save point set up to start off with. So we're gonna go ahead and get this tree done. Uh, we're gonna use our regular knife mostly because uh, this doesn't have any sort of uh, durability score. Oh wait, it does now. Wait, I didn't think it used to have a durability score. I'm pretty sure it didn't. All right, so we can use this for a while and then just to save on stones when it's close to out of durability, we should be able to build our new one. So now that we're out in the sun, no, it's still going up. Dude, the SPF stuff in this game is so weird. All right, so we're good to go with that. We need a few palm fronds in order to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Are you done, Palm Front? I maybe I, maybe I do need to get a new knife, dude. Is it? No, it's not. Wait, what? Throw that guy back down. Break break this guy up for me, homie, dude. I hit it so many times. Do you think I can't break stuff with a regular knife now? I thought you could, dude. Do we just? Whoa. Okay. Maybe some stuff and things have changed. This is interesting. All right, so what we're going to do is go like so. Then we're going to go into our crafting menu, and we are going to follow the rules here. Uh, what we've got to do next is right mouse button to pin. All right, so we're going to pin that guy, and we have to craft the refined kniffy. So what we're going to do is pop over here real quick and go ahead and make uh, these guys. I'm going to make a few. There we go. I'm an amazing craftsman now. We'll leave a couple of those over there like that. Uh, now we should be able to... Oh, we need one stick. We can pop over here like so and then make the refined knife. Nailed it, aced it, can't be stopped. Now, let's talk about the refined kniffy. Get this palm tree done. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we'll grab these guys. Look at that guy. Your watch stuff and things. All right. Kill a crab. You can also press left control to crouch. Skin the crab using the kniffy. What's up, stupid dumb crab? You're done. I'm skinning the crap. I'm following the tutorial. The steps are easily laid out for you. We've found some sort of meat and the guy's upset about it. I don't know what's wrong with you. Crab is delicious. All right, so now we got to craft the old campfire. Let's go ahead and put this guy maybe right over uh, here. Looks good to me. I think that's a good spot for it like that. And then light the campfire using our kindling. So we're going to grab our kindling over here and then uh, like this. Now this is a little bit of a tricky deal. I use both my hands to alternate between the mouse buttons if you're wondering how I do that so quickly. All right, so now we got our fire going and then we have to cook the crab meat by attaching it to the fire. So we go like so, attach it to the fire on a spit and we're good to go. What's our spoofs look like? Looking good. All right, a little bit of water in our lives wouldn't be terrible. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, we can grab these drinkable coconuts. Let's drink this guy, check. 
And then I think we're going to put that down over there like so. All right. So this guy's going. Craft a shelter so you can sleep and save your progress. All right. So let's go ahead and craft a shelter. He's done it. Nailed it. He's too cool. Uh, let's put our shelter maybe right up over inside of here. I like to put it in and out of the way a little bit. It doesn't need to be fully exposed. So something like that. And then we can go ahead and save the game. All right. Sweet. So water still is next. Now we found... Okay, let's get this guy out of the way over here. We found a uh, blue tarp, did we not? I thought I saw one over in this area right here, and I'm pretty sure that I grabbed it. Uh, oh, wait. Compass. No, no, no. That's from our original deal. Where's our blue tarp at? All right, so see uh, menu like so, and then we're going to go into this guy. The water still is what we need to make. So we need the coconut buddy. Uh, let me see here. Can I make one of those? Where are those guys? Uh, under consumables? coconut flask oh it's a full coconut and um a lashing all right so i have a full coconut right over here i can go ahead and make that guy so we have our flask now dude we are progressing quite nicely in fact did this guy do a ding yet small crab meat no ding yet all right so that uh is good to go over there let's pop back inside of here again and then that still let's go ahead and mark it like that so we need a blue tarp there it is right there all right so there's our blue tarp lol could not find it uh, we have everything we need except for three rocks. No, we're good to go right there. Oh, I can't craft it in that menu. All right, that's no problemo. I can't craft it in this menu. I have all the things. They're right there in front of us. Everything is... Why can't I craft it? Where are you, Solar Still? I can craft you now. There's a new mechanic in the game. Uh, leveling. So it looks like... And I didn't realize this was a thing. Uh, where can we put our solar still, which would be really good? Maybe we could just stick it... Because I'm going to end up building around in this area, probably. I guess we'll put it right over here. I kind of want it to be a little bit more straighter. There, like that. All right, so now we can go ahead and stick... Oh, dude, I don't think we have any palm fronds. So, uh, yeah, there's a new mechanic in the game I didn't realize. So check it out. See, Oh, it doesn't even say it anymore. It did? Wait, can I see anything that says level? Uh, let's go under farming vehicles right here see how this says level three so you need level three and i don't know what in i'm assuming it's crafting i'm assuming this has to do with uh the statistics statistics pardon me that are in our watch and i think the bottom one is what we had to level up in order to get the still and boy oh boy was that confusing man so it feels like what they've done is they, uh, they haven't updated the game yet to kind of like let you know that that's a thing um, I did end up crafting another one of these stone tools in order to level up my crafting in order to get the still. And I do realize that it's really dark right now. It is what it is. The sun's going to come up here in a second. But what we got to do now is focus on some statisticals. Let's pop back over. Water is a concern. Drinkable coconut. He's got it right there like that. Now, next order of business, we need to put either... Wait, what do we got? How much durability do we have in this knife? 96. We've got to put either yucca or palm fronds inside of the still. Uh, I don't want to use any of our yucca because it's very valuable for making lashings. Uh, and since we need more water, I'm going to grab these two coconuts. And we're going to chop this tree down right over here like so. Come on, homie. I believe in you. I believe in you, little knife. You can do it, little knife. Dude, I wonder how much durability this is taking. Because I feel like the durability was a little bit increased on that stone tool. 82. Wow, you can't do a lot with the knife. Maybe they've made it more realistic so that it's specific to the tools that you're using. So if you make the axe, uh, that axe maybe will cut down trees a little bit better. Let's just go ahead and get these palm fronds up and running. Oh, man. Oh, man. Those take a lot of hits now. Yeah, so that's not all. That's very cool. So not only have, you know what I mean, there been an update where, has there been an update where we are able to finish the game, but also now we can go ahead and uh, kind of experiment with some of the other mechanics that have changed. I might have to go read the change log deals. Let's go ahead and squirt these guys over here. Now we want to make sure we don't drink too much coconut. I think we can do two. All right, so let's just do that. If we drink too much coconut, we'll get the coconut squirts, and that is the worst. Uh, a little bit more food. We can go ahead and harvest this guy. Like so. Grab our two coconut halves and then eat those. All right. Looks like we're doing okay. I'm going to take our knife and I'm going to... Uh, I might need that. What level is it at? 862 left. Uh, we might need our knife. And now the, the next order of business, I want to go ahead and start to explore some of these shipwrecks uh, and see what's going on. Now, I do have the animals. Like I said, it's vanilla. I do have the animals set to be aggressive. So if we encounter sharks, it could be bad news bears. Uh, let's pop inside of here. It looks like we got a crate right there. And I'm guessing that's all we've got. Just the one crate. All right. So 
we've started off our adventure. One crate. Let's head back into base. Oh, hello, little sardines. I'll eat you later. Also, you know, I'm feeling a little bit lonely. You know, I might need to see about if I can find a friend around here somewhere. There's got to be a friend somewhere on the island, I hope. Uh, blue tarp, one of those, and a flare gun. All right, cool. So maybe, I don't know, who. hopefully they put a use for the flare gun in the game. Let's go ahead and stick our blue tarp maybe right over here. Our lashings can go right there. And then we're good to go with that guy. Uh, we'll have to check this guy right here and then that guy as well. We don't necessarily have to go back and put everything away every time. That's not necessarily super important for us. We do have to be a little bit careful that we don't hit a starfish. There are some poisonous things uh, in the ocean we don't want to mess around with. Anything inside of this guy here? No, too easy. All right, let's go over to this wreck. Uh, and I think we should be able to climb up right over here. There we go. Interesting animation. Balls, dude. Hello, friends. Dude, we were looking for a friend on the island and we found it in the form of balls. Come here, all the balls. Five balls. Feels good, team. All right, so we got some balls. Go inside of here. Another flare gun. Leather. Uh, oh, yeah, that guy right there. A hammer. Uh, a little bit of rations and some cloth. So I've also heard that it may be a thing in the experimental version where certain stuff are, is missing. Uh... I heard a couple of different reports. I can't jump. Oh, that was weird. I couldn't jump. All right, we got that guy. Looks like we're pretty full over here right now to Baha. Uh, so let's go ahead and head back over to base. We got our balls now. That'll help us to start to try to make um, our raft as long as we have a high enough construction level, uh, which is a new requirement for us. So let's head back over here and see what we've got going on. What's our stats looking like? It's hard to read while you're running. Uh, yeah. <sighs> All right, tarp. You go down right over here. Tarp uh, box. Vehicle electric part and two flare guns. Okay, I guess it's going to be one of those kind of playthroughs. Flare guns for days. So four flare guns. <laughs> uh, we need a spot to stick our balls, obviously. So let's stick our balls inside of there so they don't roll away. We found a little leather lashing right there. We found another hammer, and I've made one hammer. We got some plank scraps we can squirt over here, and I would really like for these to lay down flat. It's interesting that they, like, stick up in the air. Very erect now. Uh, these uh, deals, maybe we can pop that guy down right over there. And then blue tarps, I have a little pile right here. Dude, it's Junk Simulator 2020. Let's put that guy over there like so. All right, sweet. So we found a couple of deals here. What's our spuffs looking like? SPFs? On, I have no idea how, but are looking quite nice. Uh, let's see here. That's going to be a deep guy. Maybe we'll head over to these wrecks. Ooh, that might be a deep guy, too. Let's get a little bit of stamina's back. A little bit of stamina's back. Slowly walking in the water. Get our knife out. I don't know if it'll be much good against the shark if one comes, but we'll see how it goes. All right, underwater wreck deal right here. Couple of tires. No, they're the worst, man. They're so hard to get back to base. Blue tarps are valuable. More of that, which we've already got. A jerry can, a uh, vehicle fuel part, and some duct tape, which is fairly valuable. Another one of these guys. And then I kind of almost feel like I want to leave these tires here. Uh, I don't think I can even use them yet anyway, but we'll cut them. Oh, that gave us harvesting. Oh, please tell me it brings them all at once. Oh, did I hear a shark? I thought I heard something dangerous. Uh, carrying tires back from wherever you're trying to get them from to wherever you're trying to get them to is a huge pain in the butt. But these new level things are very interesting. I'm not really sure how this all works. The other thing I'm interested in is if it's giving me requirements to have certain stats at certain levels, where is it telling me what level they are at? Is it all in my watch there? And the thing is, I'm not exactly sure what each one of those little, uh, the little bars means because once you fill them up, the, the, uh, the label goes away. So you can't really see what it is. I guess we'll just have to like learn what it is. It's no big whoop. Uh, all right, tires back to base. Let's go team. Can we still throw them a little bit? Oh, not bad. A little bit of tire throwing action. World's strongest man. Zip. That's better. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it that way. Even though it's ridiculously disorienting for you, it is much easier for me to do it in that way. All right, there's our tires on shore. Zerp, zerp, nailed it, <laughs> dude. I'm freaking ridiculously strong. Do you see how far I threw that tire? All right. So yeah, what I was saying is inside of our watch, when we look at our skills, you know what I mean. We can't really see what they are. So hunting, cooking. Uh, is it harvesting, fighting, and crafting? I think is might, might be what those are. Physical uh, would be the second to the last one there. We have nothing in hunting or cooking yet. 
So we really want to get better at those guys. All right, let's pop this guy over here like so, and then take a look at what we got inside of here. Another jerry can and two torches, which we most likely will never use. Uh, let's squirt these guys down over here. Maybe we can use them. We can use them at night. We'll try to use them up. Uh, that guy, two jerry cans. Maybe we'll squirt those guys right here. Q is the button. And then we got vehicle fuel part. We can stick over there too. Duct tape, quite important. And another blue tarp feels good team. All right, so water should have been being created. Have been be bang, being cre created now. Uh, what do we got going over here for our water stat? Let's drink. All right, water's feeling good. We could use a little bit of food, but it ain't no thing. Also, the tutorial is completely gone. We did it. We've solved the, the riddle of the game. We have no more tutorial to follow, which is good. So I made an ax. I cut down a couple of trees. We still have 87% durability on it, and it seemed to work a little bit better than using our knife, obviously, right? Uh, but I kind of feel like, and I might be wrong. It used to be that like the durabilities kind of were even. It had to do like per hit. But it feels like now if you use the knife um, on a tree, the durability kind of tanks. But if you use the ax, it's not that bad. So uh, SPFs are going down quite quickly. Let's go ahead and pop these guys over here. Let me take a look at our stats here. SPF, yeah, we're going down. And I think if we go into the water, it should be a little bit better for us. Let's go ahead and pop our ax over here and just take our knife with us. And uh, we went ahead over into that wreck too right there, but we still have this one yet to, uh, what the crap? You stupid dumb crab, that's so dumb. I hate you so much right now. No one makes me bleed my own blood. Uh, why does he say it's gross? It's just crab. I feel like the developers of this game don't like crabs. Uh, let's go ahead and grab three, four of those guys, and let's uh, put them inside of here. Two, three. We need one more maybe to fill that guy back up again. Let's go like that, and then we'll just drop this crab meat right there. It's going to spoil, but there's crabs for days. We should be okay. All right. Our shipwreck over here. Let us take a look and see what we got going on. I want to go from the closest point of land directly over, making sure we're not stepping on anything like that guy right there. Which I can't remember if that guy's poisonous or not. This, I do believe, is a new type of ship I've never explored before. Can we go down into the depths? Dude, we can. We're inside of this bad ombre. Some scrap, a little bit of leather stuff and things. What do we got right there? Another container feels good, team. Anything else inside of here that I'm not seeing? It's super nice that we can explore this with air. That's kind of amazing. More tires. Uh, I'm not super concerned about those guys right now. What about on deck? Is there a way to get up there? That I'm not seeing. Is there one of the... Oh, what's this thing? Can we climb up on that? Dude, I don't think there's a way to get up on the deck. Well, there's an underside here or another underwater deal we can go down in. Hello, turtle. Spiral staircase. Whoa. Whoa. Cool, man. Uh, except I don't think... Oh, there's a crate. I was going to say, I don't think there's anything here. Uh, let's put our knife back out. We're a little bit low on staminas. We need to go ahead and get some air. Just rest here for a moment. Hopefully nothing comes to kill us. And it looks like there was another area that we could get to. <gasps> That's below deck? Is there a way to get to it through here? No, is it in the front? Dude, I'm super confused. I don't know how to get to the uh, the other little spot there. Inside of here? Okay, doesn't look like this is it. Down inside of there? Doesn't look like that's it either. There were some debris. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, are we stuck? Oh, uh-oh. Ter terrible disaster. Okay, we're free. Oh my god, that was close, man. That's That freaked me out a little bit. So it looked like down here there was some debris in the way. Can we like... Oh, there's a hole in the ship. There it is. I see. A little more air. Gaining some stamina back. Let's head down inside of here. Alright, we're in. A little bathroom toilet deal? Anything to check out? Nothing there? Container. Label maker. Not a bad little find. All right. Air's not looking too good. There looks like there maybe was another spot. No, I think it just came up inside of there. I think we're good with all that stuff. I'm kind of irked that I can't get on top here. And I can't really tell if there's anything up there that I need to take a look at. I would have to build something. Oh, our physical just went up. You know, it's super weird. The stats are going up in, a, in such a strange way. I don't remember them ever working like that. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we have some tires inside of here now. Let's try to get these guys back to shore. I'm afraid to get up over this way. Oh, I'm in. Oh, sweet. All right. Whoa, wait, what? Okay, we're up. We're up. We're up on top. 
We found a way to get in there, and there's nothing here. All right, so we found a couple of crates. That's no, uh, not bad deal. So we can go ahead and see what's inside of those guys. Let's hop over here. Go ahead and pop over. And I think until we use our tires, I'm just going to leave them over here on the side of the beach. They should be safe over inside of there, I would hope. Let's pop over here. There's our two foundations. I want to get four of these guys up so we can get a little uh, two by two hut going. Well, let's pop inside of this and see what we got over here. This guy here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, planks, another flare gun, and a fishing spear. Another torch, vehicle parts, and another flare gun. <laughs> All right, this guy can pop down right there. Dude, there's some wacky stuff going on. There's some little kind of here and there strange things happening in the experimental version, I feel like. All right, there's our label maker. Let's go put our scrap over here. Plank scrap goes right there. Another piece of leather can go over there. Dude, it's organized mess simulator. That guy right there. And then our fishing spear. Maybe we could stick over here with our axe. And then you know what I should do? Grab that guy and that guy. And we can put these over here too. Make a little pile for tools. All right, so some of things are going pretty good. Water's still not a problem. We can drink a bunch of that stuff. Now, food's a little bit of an issue. We could use the fishing spear. We could all, you know what? We might as well, because that'll save us on durability. Uh, and stones, could you equip it? There we go. Stones are a little bit. Can I get them from here? Stones are a little bit hard to come by in this game. And so you kind of want to save those if you can. Do we have to be underwater in order for this to work? Also, the animation is quite strange right now. Uh, dude. Oh, I think I think we got one. How do I grab it off there? There we go. All right, we got a fish. There we go. Those fish. I don't know if we should eat those fish. It feels like you have to be underwater for this to work. There we go. Hunting, it's leveled up. Get on my level team. Sardines for days. Oh, you want some of this action, little sardine buddy? Dude, how many sardines? We got five? Dude, that's a huge meal. Ugh, sardines. Time for a delicious meal. Hold E to extinguish. Wait, I put the fire. I spent three of my um, stones in order to put the fire ring out. And I thought that that allowed me to cook more than one thing. It looks like it doesn't. I can only cook one thing at a time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful night. What a beautiful evening. Amazing, it says Farber, amazing first night here in Stranded Deep. First day. We're going to be back with more of it. Make sure if you like the video, don't forget to show your support and smash the thumbs up button. Uh, I'm excited to continue our adventures and your support really means a lot. Thank you so much for showing your support uh, and thank you so much for being here. May the stuff and things be with you.